Hey guys, and welcome back to my Let's Play of Ratchet and Clank 2002. Last time, we finished up on Planet Altanis, which means that we can finally move on to Planet Quartu. However, just before we do that, I have a few other things that I just need to take care of, back on some of the previous planets. Now, again, as with the ending of the previous recording session, and I had to leave the planet in order to save, which played a cutscene. Now hopefully it saves before the cutscene plays, because in this game you can't you can't replay cutscenes. I don't know why, but oh well. So the first thing I'm going to do is because I don't know how I missed this. There's a gold bolt on planet Hoven, even though it's right there. I somehow missed this gold bolt, so uh, it's going to be the first thing that we're going to take care of. And will the cutscene play? Yeah. Well, I guess Quark didn't eliminate them. <laughs> How observant of you. Thank you, sir. Now, if you were only so diligent in doing your own job! Yes, sir. Since our new planet is nearly finished, we need a plan to remove the world that is occupying our selected orbit. This time, it must be absolutely foolproof! Time is wasting! It was a pretty pointless cutscene, all things considered. But, you know, I like Jeremy Drek. He's a douchebag, but I, I like him. And what we need to do to get this gold bolt is we actually need to go back to the area where we are, uh, into the, the, the room we flooded on the way to Edwina. So, I'm just going to cut back to when I get there. Okay, and I'm back. So the gold bolt that I missed is located in this room, but in order to actually use it, so to use it, in order to actually get to it, first thing we're going to need to do again is to equip our hydro displacer again and fill up the room with water again. So I think it, if it's not up there, it was in the next one. I'm not really sure how I missed it, but because it's sort of like right above you. Off the top of my head, I still don't exactly remember entirely where it is. Match it. Okay, he's being selective about it, which is not a good thing because I kind of need him to get up there. Thank you. I don't know what that was all about. Yeah, so it's up there that we need to go. Uh, I'm gonna need to fill up. All right, yeah, can't go, can't quite get up there. So we gotta fill up with water. Fill the room up with water. Over here, jump onto this. Jump up here. And we can raise the water level, which hopefully, yeah, it doesn't cover the entire cave. I'll try and go under the water as much as I can, because it's much faster. Because I'm still convinced that Ratchet does go... Oh, I still can't get out there. I'm convinced that Ratchet does still go slower at the surface of the water than he does underwater, even when you're not using the hydro pack. Might just be me, but it just seems that way. I'm still going to be trying to collect as many bolts as I can because I really do want the Tesla Claw. Thankfully, it should be the last thing that we actually have to uh, buy, or well, the last weapon. I think there's still a few more things that we have to buy in other ways. Not not too many because we're, we're actually nearing the end of the game. We got about. Four planets? Well, one of them is not really a planet, but we've got four more locations to go to. And I think only one of them actually requires you to buy anything. And we finally got that gold bolt. That has been bugging me ever since I found out about it, like the day after the previous recording session. And I was like, oh my god, I missed a gold bolt on Hoven. I gotta wait until the next recording session, granted. Could have easily have done that a lot earlier on, but hey, it, it's done now, and that's all we need to worry about. 
So now we can just... We finished off here, so we can just go back to the transporter. So that we can head to another planet. Okay, back at our ship, which means that we can now head... We, we now need to revisit another planet, which we got... A, which has a skill point and a gold bolt for us to get. And that is planet Rilgar. So in order to get the... Uh, the gold bolt, we needed the O2 mask. I decided to wait for the uh, hydro pack just because it was faster. But the O2 mask is all you need. In order to get the skill point, uh, we need the morpho ray. And I would also recommend that you equip the O2 mask for this because it will make it much easier. Let me go for the skill point first. The skill point requires us to turn one of the tanks that we've seen around here into a chicken, which is what the Morpho Ray is used for. Now, in the case of the Morpho Ray, it doesn't use up any ammo, but the amount of time it takes to turn the enemy into a chicken will depend on the size of the enemy. So in the case of a tank, well, it's a tank, so it's pretty big. I may as well show it off here, in. Whip it out, come into contact with it, turns him into a chicken. So the amoeboids, the amiibos as I like to call them. Uh, is that going to come with the explosion? Oh boy. Completely disappeared, it's not even a roast chicken. Uh, nope, there's no tanks here, there. I can't see if that's a tank or not. See, these guys, they're bigger, so they take longer. I've got to wait for that meter to fill up. Thankfully, it still doesn't take too long. With some of the uh, other enemies, it can take quite a while. You can hit the chickens. Not sure why you want to do that. You don't get anything for them, and that's just animal cruelty. There should be a tank. I think. No, I think you've got to wait until you're in the, uh, the more downtown section. Where the, uh, the guy selling you the rhino is. That's where the tank is. I think most of the tanks have gone since the previous visit. Which I believe is where this thing takes me. Yep. So let's head downtown. Sure is mighty convenient as soon as I hit. If I head downtown, it simply means go over the building. These guys are taking care of the amiibos for me. Why don't you guys actually help me get an amiibo? I don't have any. I want, I like my Mario Maker additional characters. I make it easier for you. So this is why you need the O2 mask. It spits out this gassy stuff, or whatever it is, which does hurt Ratchet. So even being a tank, it takes a while. It's giving us some slowdown there. I don't know why it stopped working now. There we go. Wait, that really slowed down at the top. I don't know why. I don't know why it did that. This guy's still here. He never goes away. What a life he has. Yeah, that's the skill point. And in order to get the... Uh, gold bolt, we need to go all the way over to the other side of the planet. So, cut! Okay, so we're back in this part of Rilgar. I'm not really sure what environment this is. Some sort of underwater factory, I guess. Now, because we had to uh, raise the water level in order to get up here, this area is now like, completely submerged. This was originally the area we had to uh, run through you know, as the water level was rising. It's not a problem anymore because we have the O2 max. Not sure where the O2 is uh, being supplied from, but who cares, cartoon. And thanks to the hydro pack, again we don't need the hydro pack for this, but it makes it so much faster. So you gotta go down here, come up here, the the water seems to have suddenly become filled with uh, urine, which is gross. I really don't know why the water is yellow here. And the lighting in this cave is yellow as well. So I don't know why the water goes yellow so far down. And we got ourselves another gold bolt. Now, we head back to our ship again. Okay, well... Unless this thing keeps coming back, I completely forgot about this skill point. So that blimp up there. 
need to destroy it, and the only weapon that's capable of destroying it, because the Devastator doesn't go that far, is the Visibomb gun. Simply aim in its direction. And there we go. I don't know how I completely... We could have gotten that one a very long time ago. I completely forgot about that one. I just suddenly remembered it a few hours ago. And I suddenly remembered it again now. But anyway, now that we've actually gotten that skill point, let's just do one quick check. Three out of three. Four out of four. Three out of three. One out of one. Two. 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 A lot of them have two. 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 One. Took a bit of a while to load there. Two. It took, what? It took a while to load the smallest planet. One. Four. And four, two. Appropriately, has two. I just saw the planet graphic change, you know. Okay, it's now actually time to head to planet core two. And the queue is actually being uh, slightly obscured there. It's the little things in life that I notice. Planet Core 2, we're actually not going to be here for very long because this is, a, this is sort of a two-part process. Go to Core 2, then to another planet, and then back to Core 2 again. In order to proceed. So we're actually we're actually not going to be here for that long. There's still three pathways to take. Which I did forget about, so we're going to take this pathway first. I don't think there's anything story-related through here, though. And this is like a gadget we need. But I can't... Okay. That looked incredibly painful for Ratchet then. <laughs> I thought there was a solid wall there. Well, there was. It was just there was a gap before it. So you come up here. Ah, yes. Right. No, actually, I'm thinking of a later level. I'm thinking that there is a skill point where you got to get through this without getting hit. But I'm actually thinking of a later level that has this. I don't think Core 2 has any skill points at all. It's the only planet in the game where that's the case. Yeah, I don't think you get anything for this part. So we've got to uh, gotta go, gotta go fast. Gotta go fast. Yeah, so that shouldn't be a problem. So you don't, you don't actually want to get hurt. You gotta go through all of these rings. They are, they are timed, so you... Uh, well, there's no time to waste. I am literally just swimming into every single one of these things. And they're, they're, they're being moved by little robots. I don't know where these things came from, but... Just, uh, weird little robots. Once the timer runs out, the water will become electrified again, and that'll be instant death. There's always three of these rings there, and usually the last one will be located right next to the door. At the moment, and the moment we jump out, it instantly becomes electrified again. So uh, don't jump back in. Now, the only reason you should ever jump back in... Is... You know, let's grab this first. Oh, it's our bolt magnet. I forgot about this. Or our bolt grabber. Now we can grab bolts from further away. This thing disappears in Ratchet and Clank 2 and it becomes a separate power-up again. I have no idea why. I think it disappears again in 3. Yeah, if you're ever going to uh, just jump back into the electrified water, it's because you missed the skill point on the uh, the other location. That's all that is, though. You know what, I'm actually... Uh, the one thing I haven't showed off yet... ...is the decoy glove. So I may as well show that off now. It's all around useless, I find. I can't even aim that far. I think all this guy does is hit a switch. Yeah, and that's what it does. It creates an inflatable ratchet that has a pathetic lifespan that makes it all around useless. Yeah, as it's saying there, we need the holo guys to get through that. Unfortunately, in order to... Uh, in order to get the holo guys, we need to visit another planet. In order to visit the other planet, we need to head over there. And I am really getting sick of this quick select screen now. What's the problem here? There's no point in getting rid of the swing shot. You don't need the Hydra Displacer right now. 
Again, I don't know why we could. What, what was so hard about adding another quick select? It doesn't look hard in Ratchet and Clank 3, but why did it take them three games in order to actually add that? Where are you? Camera. Ratchet, please hit the, uh, the red one. There we go. Yeah, I'd rather, I'd rather not just hit it. We may not be Crash Bandicoot, we won't just instantly burn from it. But I'd just rather not get hit by it in general. Whoa! Oh, it's these guys again. They get Tesla claws, why can't I? They get built-in Tesla claws. Let's swap out our Morpho Ray for the Blaster again now. We won't be needing the Morpho Ray anymore. You can even shoot the chickens. We've got these little robots again. Ah. We're going to be seeing these guys quite a lot now. I wasn't sure if he took damage or not. <laughs> like, he wasn't really reacting to it. I heard the sound effect, but I couldn't actually tell if he got hit or not. He needs to go around here. Beat everything he can because the Tesla Claw is expensive. Go around here. This stuff will all be destroyed in a, in a short, in a short moment. And I've gotten so used to it being because one of the objects actually some of the objects actually remain permanently destroyed. Which this game is very on and off with. Some some objects will remain permanently destroyed. I'm getting my ass I wouldn't say kicked, rather electrocuted. Like these these elect these testicle enemies, they're not here when you revisit the planet. After this moment. Right, for this, we need something called a code bot, which we don't get for two levels time, and is the only time we'll ever be using it, which just makes me wonder why they even bothered making it a thing in the first place. That's also where our, uh, the first of our two gold bolts are. The, the other gold bolt we're not going to be able to get until our second visit. We technically have to come here three times. Hmm. Was it pi over infinity, or...? Hey! You need help fixing that thing? Actually, I'm trying to destroy it. Why? I was contracted to re-engineer me and Largen machine to create huge, heavily armed mechs. So that's where those mechs came from. Precisely. Had I known Drek was behind this, I never would have done it. Is there anything we can do? Well, if you'll volunteer to be enlarged, you may be able to stop those mechs long enough for me to sabotage this machine. And then you will change me back? Uh, I've never tried that, but in theory, yes. Now we're giant clang. Become small again if we wish. We destroy these things and now slow down. For some reason all the enemies come back. I just got rid of these guys. Thankfully we're giant clang now. We can just walk into them. I don't know why, there's something I always find satisfying about when you're a big guy and you can just walk into them and so you just crush them by stepping into them. I always find that satisfying. And being able to crush enemies in general I find satisfying, but there's something about walking into them. It's like funny but satisfying to do. Right, this part, this part can be kind of tricky, you need to make effective use of your weapons. Shooting is probably not going to get you that far, you're mostly going to be punching things. Because uh, this is... Well, it's really it's just you destroying a lot of things. A gauntlet, you could say. I'm not already going anywhere, but you know, just destroying wave after wave of enemies. And you can't, it kind of really makes you wish you could actually move when shooting. Which I think the third game does. Because Giant Clank, he isn't in 2, but he is in 3. 
Uh, no, I'm wrong. I'm thinking of two, actually. He's in two. I don't think he's in three. Unless I haven't gotten that far yet. But I still haven't finished the game. I've still been distracted by other stuff. Other games. I've still been replaying Sonic Adventure 2. See if there's any better to 100%, which it is when you don't actually worry about the challenge you want. Oh, wait, wait, wait. This isn't Sonic the Hedgehog. This is Ratchet and Clank. Sonic the Hedgehog will come later. This is the last guy. Yep. Well done! Now just step into the machine and we'll see what happens. Nice to have you back. I guess. I've recalibrated the controls to allow only your specific circuit pattern. Oh, perfect. I don't know how to thank you two. Maybe this will help. New, new, new! From Gadgetron, the makers of weapons and other fine products, comes the Hollow Guys. With the Hollow Guys, you can fool robots into thinking you're one of them. Match your wits against other robots. Work on robotic assembly lines. Attend robot parties. The Hollow Guys. Available only at Gadgetron headquarters for a limited time. Not to be used for illegal purposes. We're only in sanctioned areas. You will not actually become a robot. If I can get that thing, I'll be able to get past those robot guards. Robots are not so easily fooled. Ah, what's that? What? Uh-huh. I don't know what Ratchet's attitude now is all about. It's like, it's good to have you back. I guess. I thought, I thought we'd... I thought we were pals again, Ratchet. You're... Ugh. I hate Ratchet in this game. He's such a jerk to Clank. You know, Clank's not doing anything wrong. He just wants to save the planet. Ratchet's just a selfish jerk. I mean, that's what we can do on Core 2 for now. So, no, uh, so we're going to get our holo guys as well as uh, n another uh, nifty little gadget. It's located on Klebo 3, I think that's how you pronounce it. The Gadgetron site itself. So this will be the location where all of our gadgets actually come from. This is starting to become annoying. I'm not sure why I bother with you incompetent idiots. All right, I'll try this one more time. You are my most elite troops. I'm sending you down to the planet's surface to destroy those troublemakers. Now go! Oh, and if you have to destroy Gadgetron to get rid of them, so be it.